Good morning guys and welcome back to another video. I am up north today in the lakes and it's basically I'm just having some time with nature, trying to be present, trying to be at one with nature rather than being stuck in my phone and being stuck in everything like that. I've turned internet off my phone for the last two days and I am not touching social media at all. But I brought my camera out with me because I can't stay away from it though, can I? Today's a little bit of a weird random video. When I filmed my weight loss video, my last video, if you haven't checked it out already, the link will be in the bio, probably a link on the screen as well. I've been filming loads of little bits while I've been editing that because it's taken me a while to actually do it. So they don't really link together that much so we're just going to do a little bit of an interlude and get everything going and show you guys what I've been up to and what I've been doing with the fact that i've been doing a bit of a social media detox it kind of links quite well into like new little business thing that i'm trying to do i'm not going to tell you all about it completely because i don't want you stealing my ideas anyway the other day i got invited to go to a sushi place and sushi place was all you can eat who didn't like raw fish and eating as much raw fish as you can that sounds like a very very good idea to me so i am just gonna go sit with my new mate that i've just found here just have to chill for a little bit and then you can go watch us eat sushi bye we are here in the blue Sakura. Sakura? Sakura. I can't pronounce this place. <laughs> anyway, Sakura sushi place. But how it works is you order five dishes per person for the all you can eat sushi. So there's two of us here today, so we get to order ten dishes each round, and we're just going to keep going and keep going and keep going and filling up on so much raw fish. If you just look at how beautiful the actual layout of this restaurant is, and all the trees behind me. So round one has arrived, and I can't wait to get involved in this. All right, let's go. Here we go. Now it's time. The big boat. My god, that looks incredible. Cheers, thank you. That looks incredible. So Alice is saying that I should try wasabi. Mouthful of it is. <laughs> okay. Oh well that's spicy, isn't it? <laughs> the whole thing, the whole thing anymore. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. <laughs> so all finished in the sushi place. They're definitely going to be going back there again. The guys there were so nice. The food brought out looked so good, and it tasted so good as well. If you're ever in Leeds, you've got to you've got to try it out. And we'll pass back on to future Adam. Yes guys, so you did seem to like the voiceovers that I was doing in the other video, so I'm going to do some more again, so I'm going to take you through my rehab style workout. So it's going to be mainly shoulder and back based, and then I'm going to do some hamstring stuff at the end. But yeah, I'm just going to chat to you while it's going on in the background, so I've just been doing a lot of stuff recently to try and help my shoulder set in, my shoulder stability, and just stop getting these pinchy kind of nervy pains that I have been getting. So as you can see in this exercise here, adding the band really makes the exercise more difficult at the top of the range of motion where it is normally easier and it just really really helps kind of build in stability around your shoulder and having the bands and the resistance at the top of the movement makes us a little bit stronger in the areas of motion that we're normally a little bit weaker in so as you can see here I'm adding weight onto it as well and it's just really really progressing my strength and improving that shoulder stability at the same time then we are going to move over onto a back exercise so we're going to be doing scapular setting so that is pulling your shoulder blades together and then we're going to add a rowing motion in to really enforce that and really work the lower traps as they are really important in your shoulder positioning, posture and scapular movement. After doing a few sets on this, I moved over onto an exercise ball, which was very, very, very taxing. So when it comes to stability, it's also really important to add elements of core engagement into it. So sitting on the exercise ball not only makes it more wobbly and makes me have to use my core engagement even more than taking one foot off the ground and doing a single arm pressing motion is really really taxing my core and my shoulders at the same time and then to push that even further we move on to the next exercise which is working our serratus anterior which is like the webby muscle that comes around the front that looks like ribs and its main job is to stabilize your shoulder blade this is quite an advanced way of doing it I would start on an incline bench potentially and just using it and slowly decrease the incline so you get to flat press ups and then you can do it to a decline like this and then finally we move on to some of the rehab stuff so I'm doing a single leg longer bridge with a slight raise really trying to target the hamstrings it's important to hit your hamstrings in multiple different ranges of motion so the hamstrings job is not only to flex the knee but it's also to extend the hip behind you so it's important to work in both ranges of motion there and we incorporate in both of them into these style of exercises and of course adding a little bit of balance and stability work in there as well and that is the workout done guys let me know in the comments below what you think of these voiceovers and I'll pass you back to the 
other, aren't they? Oh, right, guys. Well, that was really slimy, wasn't it? I'm not allowed to film in there and got a full workout filmed for you guys. I know I've been working purely on rehab stuff, but that is the majority of what my workouts are filled with at the minute. Just got to work on making sure this shoulder is as good as possible and getting this hamstring back to full strength. But the injury has definitely opened my eyes to some different areas that have been a little bit weaker. Work on these little muscle groups that are getting weaker and are just being a bit rubbish. Hopefully from there, I will be getting everything sorted and getting everything back on track. So guys, so as you can see, rehab is going pretty well. I'm, I can hike, I can get up here, can't I? It's been absolutely miles, been gone for ages now. It's been about 30 minutes since we've got up, but we got up to the top of, I don't know what this peak is called, but we're at Lake Windermere in the, the Lake District, and it is absolutely class. Some of the views around here are incredible. It's just really nice to get out. I've completely taken myself away from social media, so it's been really good to get out, enjoy nature, and just be really, like, present and live in the moment a little bit and i guess these views are just nice aren't they, they just they just make you make you smile don't they and on and on the fact about smiling actually if you haven't seen james acaster and you haven't seen the sketch about how happy are you with your smile please go on to netflix and watch it so recently i have started if you follow me on instagram you'll have seen i will have started my invisalign treatment so and i'm going to document the whole process i'll show you guys the ups and downs and the throughout of all of that so we're going to cut over to past adam before he started and he's going to take you through the journey of Invisalign and then we'll we'll come back <laughs> come back when we've got rid of this wasp bye guys <laughs> so guys today I am going to be getting my first impressions for my Invisalign I'm gonna be out of the church view a dental practice they're gonna take me through the entire process I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and show you what the experience is like of getting Invisalign let's go Tell you what we're going to do today. I'll just go through basically what we're going to do today. Basically, what? Yeah, and the process. I've got the photographs, and these are yours. They're not brilliant photographs, but they're good yeah. enough for diagnosis, really. Yeah. Then the main real concerns, sort of in your upper teeth, yeah, this crowding at the mm -hmm. front right, and then the crowding in your lower teeth as well. The way the process works with Invisalign is what we'll do is we'll take some impressions of your teeth today. Within about a week, we'll get a computer generated animation of the result that we can achieve. What it essentially will do is we put down the main concerns, they'll send us back a little animation, which I'll check over to make sure I'm happy with it. And then if we're both happy with it, then what we do essentially is order your aligners. And that will show us how long the process will take and what the result can be. Okay. Yeah. So once that comes back, I'll send it to you. If we're both happy, we'll order your aligners. Yeah, yeah. Then you come back in, um, and then essentially just fit your aligners. Yeah. Often, we need to add a little bit of white filling to some teeth just to help the movement yeah, yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. And sometimes we need to polish a little bit in between your teeth, just so yeah. that the teeth slide past each yeah, other yeah. a little yeah, bit, yeah, okay? Yeah. Um, until we get that clean check back, we're not really sure what degree that is. Yeah, yeah. With Invisalign, what you get is you'll get your initial set of aligners, which usually will achieve the goal. Mm -hmm. but they will also include another two sets of aligners. So if at the end of that time you think, do you know what, I want to just tweak this, yeah, that, yeah. that's included. Right, yeah. And then we sort some retainers out at the end of it as well. Yeah, yeah, the Retention, you've got yeah. to wear them for it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, is that all right? Yeah. yeah. As like I said, I'm going to just document the full process of my Invisalign treatment. I'm getting Invisalign Go is what it's called. It targets the front teeth, so it's more about actually progressing and improving my smile rather than my whole bite and my whole jawline kind of thing. So hopefully, hopefully it'll really help. It's just one of my insecurities and one thing that I really wanted to get sorted and get done. I'm getting the Invisalign treatment and getting some whitening treatment to go with it as well. We've got to go have another appointment now in three weeks time to get the actual braces, the actual like trays, the clay trays fitted and talk through with the orthodontist about the whole process of stuff then. Like I said, I'll bring you guys along the way with it. Back to future Adam. In geese too. <laughs> so guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed. Have a little bit of catch up about what is going on in the life of me. I'm just gonna enjoy the lovely lake at Windermere. But I feel like it's saying something to me. Subscribe. I think it's saying subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Like the video, guys. And there is one last thing to say. Stay obsessed.